Despite the increase in oil prices, there are still more issues Nigerians are battling with as they seem not to be able to have a on the simultaneous increase in food and cooking gas hike. For more details, our correspondent Ruth Aluko reports. Amidst the increase in oil prices, food and cooking gas hike is another dilemma Nigerians are being faced with as they grumble about the incessant costs which affect their daily living. Things have been so hard these days. Imagine where gas is 700 naira, 650, sometimes they sell it 650. I'm not comfortable with that in Nigeria because God has blessed us with many things in Nigeria which we're not supposed to be suffering about. So all this thing, I'm, I'm totally confused. I don't know what the government are doing about it, about our suffering. Sometimes if we even buy food, for us to cook it, we will not see the gas to cook the food. If you even go to, sometimes you go to gas station to buy gas, they will say that there's no gas, there's no time for the selling. I don't understand. I'm, I'm tired of all these things, so I don't know. Let, let's just look for something to do for in this situation because the way things is going, people are dying of hunger. Many, many people are dying of hunger in this Nigeria, which is not supposed to be so. Due to the health implications and all the environmental hazards that comes with cooking with firewood and charcoal, business owners have come out to talk about why using of gas is important and how the increase of it has affected the businesses negatively. When you talk about food stuff, this thing we are buying it 3,700 before. Now it has gone up to 6,000. The vehicle that we carry from that place to reach Ondo here is taken 2,500. Now it's 5,000. Because they say scarcity of fuel. Scarcity of fuel. No gas. Okay, you know how much they are selling a liter of uh, gas before? Cooking gas. How much is it now? 700. When somebody is sick now, you go to the hospital. The doctor will charge. After prescribing the whole medicine, giving it to you, without food, there's no how you can consume the medicine. Otherwise, that is dead. So many people are dying every day on hunger. The people pleaded for the government to lend a helping hand towards reducing the cost of food in order to enable Nigerians to survive. There is no job. There is some people who even go to school. There's, at the end of the day, they will, you find them doing nothing. And again, they said they are, they are farming in Nigeria. Many people are farming. I don't they, they, they don't they don't we don't see what they are farming of. We don't see as the improvement. Well, government need to provide like all this uh, engine they used to farm all those kind of things. They need to provide it for workers in Nigeria because there are many farmers in Nigeria. Then they have a change of mind. Let them remember that we are the electorate that elected them into the power. Eh? Let them help us. Let them remember the masses. So that things, life will be going smoothly the way God planned it for us. Ruth Aluko, reporting for Captain TV News.